Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about probability of not mutually exclusive events. So not mutually exclusive events, these are events that occur at the same time. They have values in common or they have intersection. So let us have example number one. A bag contains cards number from 1 to 14. One card is drawn at random. Find the probability of A. Selecting a prime number or a multiple of 4. And B. Selecting a multiple of 2 or a multiple of 3. So let's see if letter A is a mutually exclusive event or not mutually exclusive events. Or for letter B, let's see whether is not mutually exclusive events. For letter A, a prime number or a multiple of 4. So let us have prime number. So letter A, let us have prime number. A prime number's natural number greater than 1 where factors are 1 and the number itself. So let's have 2. Start tayo kay 2. So, ang product niyan, 2 times 1. Another 1, 3. So, from 1 to 14, ha? So, yung 1, hindi siya kasali. Okay? Special number yung 1. So, start lang tayo kay 2. 3, 5. So, yung 5, 5 times 1 lang yung factor. The next, 7. So, 7 times 1. 11. 11 times 1 lang yung factor niyan. Or yung product. And then, 13. So, how many? We have 6 numbers. Okay? For multiples of 4. So, multiples of 4. So, multiples of 4, syempre, 4, 8, and 12. <clears throat> so, do they have numbers in common? So, wala. So, therefore, ang letter A is mutually exclusive events. Okay? So, hindi siya not mutually kasi wala silang intersection for letter A. So, ang probability nito, probability of getting a prime number or a multiples of 4 is equal to, oh, take note, or, ang operation natin is addition. So, that is probability of prime numbers. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 out of ilang numero? 14. Plus, uh, probability of multiples of 4. So, we have 1, 2, 3. So, 3 out of 14. So, when you add 3, 6 plus 3, that is 9 over 14. So, copy the denominator. So, final answer, 9 over 14. So, this for letter A, this is a mutually exclusive event. Since, they do not have numbers in common. So, let's see for letter B, if they have numbers in common. Once meron silang common or parehong numero, therefore, it will say na ang number na yan or sample na yan is not mutually exclusive events. So, selecting a multiple of 2 or a multiple of 3. So, yung muna tayong multiple of 2. So, multiple of 2. So, we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and we have 14. Okay, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So how about multiples of 3? So multiples of 3, we have 3, 6, 9, 12. So, meron ba tayong common numbers? So, ang common natin, syempre, intersection of 2 at saka 3. Ano yung intersection nila? 
we have common na 6 at saka 12. Okay? So, ito is not mutually exclusive events. Okay? So, NME. Kasi nga, may common number sila. So, yung number 1 is mutually kasi walang common. While yung letter B is a mute, uh, not mutually exclusive event since we have common numbers. So, paano yung formula nito? So, pro probability of multiples of t 2 or 3. Okay? Multiples of 2 or multiples of 3. So, ano ba yung probability ng multiples of 2? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, we have 7 out of 14. Okay? And then, plus... Uh, ano yung probability ng multiples of 3? We have 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 out of 14. And then, ibabawas natin yung probability ng common sa kanila. So, we have 6 and 12. So, we have minus 2 over 14. Okay? So, 7 plus 4 is equal to 11 minus 2. So, we have 9 over 14. Okay? So, this is our final answer. So, again, 7 plus 4, 11 minus 2, that is 9 out of 14. So, the probability of getting a multiples of 2 or multiples of 3, we have 9 over 14. So, let us have item number 2. Find the probability of selecting a boy or a blonde-haired person from 12 girls, 5 of whom have blonde hair. So, yung may limang from, uh, from 12 girls, merong limang blonde hair. And 15 boys. So, we have 15 boys at 6 of whom have blonde hair. So, meron tayo ditong dalawang set. So, we have boys and then girls. Okay? So, yung boys natin, we have 15. Okay? So, yung girls, we have 12. The, now, bland hair. Okay? Bland hair so, sa girls, sa girls, we have 5. Sa boys, we have 6. So, a total of 11. So, let us have probability. So, probability of getting a boy or selecting a boy or blonde haired person. So, ngayon, Ano ba ang probability ng boy? So, we have 15 out of ilan ba lahat ng persons? So, we have 27. Okay? So, ilan ba lahat ng plus? So, ilan lahat ng bland hair? So, we have 11 out of 27. And then, yung minus natin, ano ba yung common kay boy at saka bland hair? So, we have 6. So, yung 6 na 6 ay lalaki at saka bland hair. So, we have 6 over 27. So, 15 plus 11 is 26. Minus 6, we have 20 over 27. So, the probability of selecting a boy or a blonde hair is equal to 20 over 27. So, hindi na natin pwedeng simplify since wala namang divisible si 20 and 27. Okay? So, again, yung boy, we have 15. Yung 11, we have blonde hair. Yung 6, common. Kay boy at saka blonde hair. Yung 6. Okay?
a boy and a blonde hair is 6. So let us have item number 3. Determine the probability that a card drawn from a standard deck is red card or a face card. So, counting background. So, ang standard deck of card, we have two colors. So, black and then red. So, yung black, we have 26. At yung red, meron ding 26. Okay? So, again... <clears throat> So, we have two colors in a standard deck of card. We have black and then red. So, 26, 26. A total of 52 cards. Okay? So, yung black kasi is spade and clubs. Yung red, diamond and hearts. So, 13 na hearts and then 13 of diamonds. Okay? So, meron din tayong tinatawag na face cards. So, yung face cards natin, ito ay Jack, Queen, and King. Okay? Yung Jack, we have 4. Okay? And then Queen, we have 4. And then King, we have 4. A total of 12. Okay? So, meron ba silang common? So, yung Red. So, sa red cards, so we have 26. Okay? So, yung 26 na yan, syempre, sa red cards, meron dito, sa Jack, Queen, King, meron dito ng dalawang red. So, yung common, meron dalawang red, red na Jack, tapos, dalawang red na Queen, and then, dalawang red na king. So, a total of 6 na common. Okay? Again, 2 red jacks, 2 red queen, and 2 red king. Now, let us have the probability. Probability of getting a red card or a face card. Okay? So, that is equal to, so yung red natin, we have 26 out of 52. And then, plus natin si face cards. Yung face cards natin, again, ang operation, or, so plus, addition, kapag may word na or. Kasi ang hinahanap dyan ay union. Okay? So, we have 12 over 52. I-minus natin yung common. Yung common sa kanila ay anim. Face card na, then red card pa. Yun po ang ibig sabihin. So, we have 6 over 52. 26 plus 12, that is 38. Minus 6. So, 32 over 52. So, So, ito divisible pa sa 4. So, divide natin sa 4. Divide natin sa 4. So, 32 divided by 4, that is equal to 8 all over. 52 divided by 4, that is 13. So, our final answer is 8 over 13. Ito yung simplest form. Pero, pwede rin naman sa choices, 32 over 52. In case na meron doon. Ano? So, ang final answer is 8 over 13. The probability of getting red or face card. So, again, I hope you learned from this video. And if you learn, please subscribe to the channel.